In this video, we're grateful to the Head of Safety at West Midlands Metro for supplying information on tram braking distances. Hi, this is Richard from Inclusive Driving. As of 2021, there are only nine tram systems in the UK, mostly in major cities. If you're not from one of those areas, you probably won't experience trams, but you'll need to know about them for your theory test and future driving. There is of course lots of information in driving the essential skills. We've taken some of those key points and matched it to some video taken in Wolverhampton along a section of the West Midlands Metro. First of all, some technical information on trams based on those used in the West Midlands. They vary in length, but usually in the UK, they're around 25 meters. The top speed is just over 40 miles an hour and of course, they run on tracks and so cannot steer or swerve to avoid a hazard. Their only option is to stop. The emergency braking distance at 30 miles an hour is about 46 metres, compared to a car braking distance of 23. That's the emergency brake. For a routine stop, say for a traffic light, the braking distance is about 70 metres. As they are powered by electricity, they don't make much noise at low speed. Whenever they move off, they will sound a bell. In the faster off-road sections, they'll use a louder horn instead. So let's switch to the in-car audio for some commentary as we drive along a tram route. warning sign for trams on the right. There's also a warning sign for electrical overhead cables on the left. And here we have another warning for trams and the dual carriageway is ending and also the road is narrowing. So here the tram lines join our road. It is controlled by traffic lights but you still need to check that mirror. Along this road you can see that there are yellow dots painted in the road on the left and the right. They're a little bit more clear on the left at the moment. This marks the width of the tram so it helps people who want to park know if they're going to be obstructing the tram but it also helps the tram driver know if they can get past an obstruction. On some roads and in the theory test one of the questions will ask you about the road markings for trams and often the tarmac is a different colour for trams. Now on the on-road section it's all the same we've just got these yellow dots that mark out the tram colour but very shortly, um, when the tram goes back onto an off-road section, you'll see that the tram road does have a different colour tarmac. Now I've got a sign that says trams only. That's telling us that the tram is diverting off the road. red traffic light that tells me that there's probably a tram coming in one direction or another. That's just down to my local knowledge. We can see ahead it does say tramway in operation. Do not queue inside the yellow box.
Oaks Junction would make sure that these tram lines weren't blocked. Now these traffic lights are set up to give priority to the trams. So the tram will always go before us. see that the footpath is a shared footpath for cyclists and pedestrians. That's intended to keep the cyclists away from the tram tracks. If a cyclist was to get their front wheel stuck in the tram track they would fall off, that would be quite dangerous. Here we have a sign to say that the spur off to the right is for trams only and this is where you'll see the tarmac colour change to indicate it's a tram route not a car or lorry or bus route. Let's have a look at crossing the tram lines then. We've got lots of signs to tell us certain sections of road are for trams only. A note on the left we have end of dual carriageway and on the right we have road narrows on both sides. So those are the two signs that often get confused and here we see them together. So the tram line is joining the road again. Look out for a diamond shaped sign. Diamond shaped signs are for trams and on this occasion it's indicating a speed limit. It says 50. That's not 50 miles per hour, that's 50 kilometres per hour. The speed limit on this road for cars is 30, so 50k is near enough 30 miles an hour. So here the trams have to slow down to 30 kilometres an hour, although cars can continue to do 30 miles per hour. And have a look at the traffic lights here. We've got a green traffic light for cars. The white lights on top are the traffic lights for trams and they're dead easy to understand. A horizontal white line means stop and a vertical white line means go. They do have the equivalent of an amber light and that is where it just shows four dots and a little cluster in the middle. As there aren't any trams here at the moment, the tram traffic lights are still showing a stop aspect. As we enter the park and ride car park for Priestfield tram stop, we've got a giveaway line before we go over the tram tracks. 
I must say I am quite surprised that it's a give way and not a stop line. And all areas will vary, but here in the West Midlands the park and ride is free. And we'll turn around and we'll exit because we're not actually catching a tram. As we exit the car park again we've got a give way line before we go over the tram tracks but visibility is severely restricted because we're actually on a little bit of a bend on the tram tracks um, so like I say I'm very surprised that this isn't a stop line there's a warning there not to block the tram lines if there's a car in front of you Well, I hope that video has been useful to you and we'll see you on another one very soon.